So we just came back from 22 days in the Northwest Hawaiian Islands. We went over 1,500 miles from here in Oahu all the way out to the uh, greatest extent of the Northwest Hawaiian Islands. And we were doing that in order to pick up 18 of our field biologists who were stationed out at five different remote field camps. They were collecting data on Hawaiian monk seals and Hawaiian green sea turtles. And the science that they're doing out there actually forms the backbone of some of the longest running data sets for these species conservation. And that gives us that long-term perspective that helps us to understand changes in the ecosystem and respond to threats that we can observe out there. Sometimes monk seals, moms will switch pups or a pup might be abandoned by a mom, but these two pups appeared to be the same age and nursing the same mom and they both weaned. Um, they were a little on the thinner side, you know, having, having to share one mom, but um, both look generally healthy and so we're really hopeful to see them next year. And we'll, we get, um, whenever we flipper tag animals, there's a little tissue punch to get that flipper in and then that little tissue punch will be something that we can send off for genetic testing to really find out whether those are twins or not. Uh, this year we identified and numbered 583 turtles combined throughout French Frigate Shoals. We also applied four satellite tags uh, to four of the turtles, males and females, and have now been tracking their migrations back from the nesting beaches at French Frigate Shoals to the main Hawaiian Islands. We've already seen uh, one turtle uh, migrate back to Molokai. We have a turtle right here outside of Pearl Harbor, and another one of our turtles uh, made it back to the North Shore and has been spotted up there. We ask uh, folks, a part of a citizen science project, that if they see any of these turtles with the white numbers on their shells, to please report them to NOAA at respectwildlife at NOAA.gov.